वेलकम टू अनदर ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ क्वारंटाइन टेक टॉक आई एम योर होस्ट दिव्या एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ ड्यूरिंग दिस पैंडमिक फॉर टूडे सेशन ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वेल एज वेरी ट्रेंडिंग टॉपिक दैट इज ब्लॉक चेन फॉर द डिस्कशन वी हैव मिस्टर साई शिबू ही वर्क एट अमृता डब्ल्यू एन ए इन द एरिया ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एडू we yeah, let's start the session with a very basic question that is what is blockchain and how does it work uh, thank you divya for uh, having me on your show yes, today we will uh, see about the blockchain technology so before i explain what blockchain technology is and uh, how it it is being used let me tell you one thing so blockchain technology is now uh, being uh, you know like talked about it uh, everywhere so most of the government organizations and uh, some private organizations are also migrating to this blockchain technology the main purpose of this migration is to enable a secure um, transaction um, platform where uh, you can have um, any number of transactions between uh, unauthorized people or uh, untrusted people blockchain uh, is a decentralized computation and information sharing platform so it is basically used to bring uh, cooperation coordination collaboration between the uh, non trusted parties in any organization so the example that i can give for a non trusted people is so you see some um, nice product on the instagram nowadays people are selling so many goods on instagram right so uh, you like the good but you don't know uh, the background of this there is no seller rating or whatever uh, it is available it's not available so what do you do in this scenario you 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 badly need the product so you initiate the transaction between you and the seller you ask the seller to send you some pictures uh whether you ask you ask the price you negotiate with him and then you finally come to a deal and then you send the money to him so in the current scenario he can run away with your money right so you don't know whether he will send you the goods or not so when uh, you have a blockchain based uh, platform uh, can uh, assume that uh, instagram is going to bring a blockchain based platform in some day you can uh, uh, have a digital uh, contract between you and the seller saying uh, some terms and conditions and then you initiate the transaction you pay him and uh, once you deliver the goods you check the quality of the goods and if it is uh, damaged or not all those things you check it and then you finally tell instagram that it is okay i am okay so you so i am happy with the with, with the product so then instagram will say and I'll give you an acknowledgement and then transfer the money to him so this is where the blockchain is going to come in the future also okay so if you take a uh, blockchain there are a few uh, benefits of it using it in your organization so the first one is the consensus it is good it is like an agreement between all the people who are participating in the transaction mm-hmm. the, the other most uh, important thing is the place of origin you you get to know where the transaction is originated so you can back trace the transaction to the original so like people are um, sending money to one another right so here you can get to know the source of the transaction who initiated it all those details are available or stored in that in the blockchain so the next most uh, important thing is the immutability so the blockchain uh, transactions are immutable nobody can uh, change the uh, transaction once it is uh, written into the block so if there is any say for example if you uh, if you are not uh, happy with the product that you received and you are going to get the payment back so that is not reversing the payment it is it is not going back to the old uh, block and uh, changing the values you create a new block for the um, for the payment uh, reversal process also there are few main components of blockchain so the one uh, that uh, made blockchain very popular is the bitcoin or the cryptocurrency which is one of the components of the blockchain uh, some people also call them as assets and uh, it is usually protected with a public private key and then you have the most important thing which is called the smart contract so this is like a digital uh, agreement between the parties transaction uh, participating in the transaction so it basically tells the 
a process that is going to be involved so what is the quality of the goods what is the quantity and um, how, how the transaction is going to happen all these are uh, are made into a computer program either in uh, any one of the languages like python or go or whatever languages and then executed at the blockchain so the next main uh, thing is the ledger so this is where your uh, transaction details are going to be stored so the people who are participating in the transaction uh, will hold a copy of uh, the ledger so as we uh, said earlier the ledger is immutable whatever uh, data written to the ledger is uh, like uh, read uh, write only once and read a number of times you can write it and then it cannot be modified is this blockchain private or public and who handles it and how is it secure? So basically there are three different types of blockchain available. The one and the most popular uh, type of blockchain is the public blockchain uh, where uh, if you take uh, the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, all these comes under the public blockchain. And the next one is the private blockchain. So here we have uh, uh, platforms like uh, Hyperledger, you have IOTA, and uh, this particular uh, private blockchain is um, it's open uh, only to certain people and you do need uh, some kind of permissions to uh, join the blockchain uh, and do some transaction whereas in the private or the public blockchain it is open to anyone anyone can uh, join anyone can initiate the transaction and it is open to all and the third most popular uh, or the upcoming one is the hybrid blockchain so which is uh, being used by the government organization especially for uh, the storing of uh, you know information like your uh, land records or uh, some health data between uh, the government and the uh, private organizations so these are the basic types of blockchain is it only for banking sectors or what are its other practical applications blockchain is not only for the financial uh, sectors it was uh, originally started being used in the financial sectors to avoid uh, so many things and uh, now it is being used in uh, different organizations especially if you ask me we were uh, trying to use it in um, energy domain and it can be used in uh, practically in any organizations and um, yeah so the other applications are uh, using them in uh, supply chain management and uh, yeah as we discussed earlier it can be used in government uh, organizations to store uh, you know data of land records or maybe some e-voting and uh, yeah these are some of the applications of uh, blockchain what are the various advantages and disadvantages of blockchain so the main advantage of having blockchain in any organization is it will make your organization a transparent one transparent meaning your all your transactions will be made available to the public so anyone can look into uh, your transactions so for example uh, consider you are a government organizations and you have a blockchain enabled uh, uh, e-governance platform so all those uh, transaction details so say for example if in case of this uh, corona and all those things people are complaining about uh, government organizations hiding information about uh, the uh, death and all those things right so the blockchain platform will be made available to all the hospitals and these hospitals are going to enter their information through the portal and there will be a person who is going to or person or a computer is going to validate the transaction with the lab result so that transaction details are stored to the block so if anyone who tries to break the block the transaction will become invalid so he's going to change the block details and that will uh, alter the hash code uh, in the previous block and also in the next block and there the chain breaks so from here we will uh, get to know that the transaction is tampered so this is one of the main advantage of blockchain so the disadvantage it occupies more space that is the problem so everybody in the organization is going to own the copy of your data so they may not be seeing it directly but they are going to own a copy so there is a additional or uh, unwanted requirement of memory for uh, to own someone else's data so that is the one thing i feel uh, the most dis disadvantage uh, thing in blockchain what is the future of blockchain so i practically feel that 
the blockchain will be there in every organization in the near future. So let's take an example of our uh, very own Amazon. So you are going to order some goods on Amazon. So what will you do? You go to the Amazon website. You will go. You will uh, look for the item that you need. You will uh, also check for uh, items that are uh, priced uh, similar to the one you are looking. You will uh, most probably choose the one with uh, good ratings and the lower price, right? So once you uh, complete, uh, once you once you are satisfied with the product, you will add it to your cart and then initiate the payment. So this payment is the transaction between you and Amazon. So what Amazon will do? So on their side, they will ask the product uh, seller or product manufacturer to get ready with the shipping, right? So there goes an information from Amazon to the seller. This information is also recorded. And after packing all your materials, the seller will verify whether they have uh, packed the right material, whether the packing quality is good or not, all those that is the other transaction, third transaction, which is also recorded. So once uh, he is satisfied with the packing and uh, shipping and all those, uh, I mean the shipping um, medium, they, he will choose a right uh, shipping partner that is the uh, courier or maybe like uh, FedEx or uh, Blue Dot, whatever we have. So he will ask the people to pick the goods from his uh, place and then deliver it to the right person. So there is another transaction between the seller and then the uh, shipping company so the shipping company will have uh, so many people uh, under them right so they have a person who is collecting the parcel from the organization then he is giving it to a collection center and then that is being processed and uh, till you get it, it there is uh, different people involved so blockchain is going to sit with all these people and going to capture every moment of your goods and then it is going to update you so all these transactions, the copy of the transactions will be owned by you, Amazon, the seller and the shipping company and also the person who is involved in between in between your you and uh, the delivery things or like that. So once your product is delivered, you will say that it is delivered in good condition and uh, I am happy to receive it. So then that is the final transaction between you and Amazon. So once that is successful and once all these transactions are successful, then Amazon will close the transaction and release the payment to the uh, seller or the, or the Amazon partner. So once all these are completed, the complete transaction information is stored in a different blocks. Each transaction details are in individual block. So this is the complete blockchain which has the details of your complete from right from purchase till delivery. So in case if you have any issues with the uh, the order in future you the amazon will come back to the transaction history and they will check at what point the mistake uh, occurred and then they will take the necessary step either it is from your end or from the seller's end or from the shipping end so this will be uh, helpful for them to minimize the uh, time consuming in processing the order as well as quality check can we use a raspberry pi to implement blockchain yes it is possible actually we have tried two different setups on raspberry pi the first one which was very much successful was using a hyperledger uh, platform where we used uh, docker engines on the raspberry pi and uh, the hyperledger fabric uh, uh, docker images are available on uh, the, the github you can use that on multiple raspberry pis you you need to uh, have one of the Raspberry Pi as a master or uh, you call it orderer in uh, Hyperledger and rest of them as uh, client or nodes and then you have to uh, assign one more uh, Raspberry Pi as uh, a validator who is uh, responsible for validating the transactions. So we uh, had a setup with uh, six Raspberry Pis and uh, one of them as the orderer and the other one as a validator and four other uh, uh, Raspberry Pi is participating in the transactions. Yes, uh, and the second one that uh, we did uh, was with uh, IOTA. So for uh, IOTA, uh, what we did, uh, uh, we had the IOTA, uh, there is a one-click initiator from IOTA. So you can uh, run the IOTA blockchain uh, 
um, a complete uh, node, you, they call it as a node, on a server or uh, maybe on a cloud. We did it on a um, good server actually, a Dell server, and um, we had Raspberry Pis who are the IOTA clients. They don't, they don't need to run any uh, special um, fabric or docker uh, kind of thing on the on there and um, we used a python library available for uh, iota to initiate the transactions and receive the transactions so yes that's what uh, we did and uh, comparing the performance between hyperledger and iota iota was uh, performing very well compared to hyperledger because uh, you don't need any um, docker images or uh, on any other resources that is taking much memory on the Raspberry Pi, whereas uh, Hyperledger was consuming uh, memory and uh, we had to install a 64-bit operating system uh, Ubuntu core uh, on the uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, uh, do the you know like works. Uh, but whereas the the original Raspbian Raspberry Pi OS uh, was well sufficient for the IOTA transactions. In fact, uh, we could uh, run the IOTA node on a uh, node MCU or ESP8266 based uh, microcontrollers which are Wi-Fi enabled. So uh, if you ask me if there is any uh, smart contracts or uh, things like that, some co complex com computations are involved, then you have to go with Hyperledger or Ethereum. Ethereum has a complete cloud based uh, solidity uh, framework where you can learn stuff and then um, get used to it and uh, if, if you don't have any uh, smart contracts just transaction just cryptocurrency kind of things you can go with the uh, iota framework thank you so much sai for giving us information about the blockchain technology and we wish to hear from you in the upcoming sessions also and thank you so much viewers for listening to us uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos on Quarantine Tech Talk.